Hello, my little YouTube family. How's everybody doing today? This is Friday, July the 23rd, and it's 12.82 p.m. Um, let's see, did I share that Steve Fletcher video with y'all yesterday? I think I did. I hope so. It's just very hopeful. That man just can't stop looking for the next possible day. Isn't that what we all do, really? I do. <laughs> it's not that I carve it out in stone, you know, and say, hey, this is the day of the rapture. You know, we don't. We just go by what's coming up and the possibilities and why. Anyway, this is a totally different kind of video, but you've heard them before if you've been with me a while and resubscribe. Thank you very much for finding me and subscribing. These are some more recalls that you may have on your shelf. Okay, I'm going to start. There's three of them. Muffins. Who doesn't love muffins? Boy, I miss those muffins they used to give us here. Muffins sold under seven brand names recalled because of possible Listeria contamination. That's the title found on Pen Live or Patriot News. Or, well, maybe that's the whole title. Pen P-E-N-N, -N, live, Patriot News. I guess it's in Pennsylvania. Anyway, moving on. They're showing chocolate chips. Oh, that looks like... No, it's not Little Debbie, I don't think. These are banana muffins. And these are crumb something. Yeah, different varieties, brands. It says, uh, muffins sold under seven different brand names, including some sold at 7-Eleven and Walmart have been recalled because they may be contaminated with Listeria. They're showing pictures of muffins. I guess it's just a cellophane on them, like there's a pack of 12. It looked like mold at first, but I think it's just the way the camera took the picture on the cellophane but anyway moving on all right so give and go prepared foods usa corporation recalled the muffins that were sold in retail stores nationwide that's a strange name for corporation give and go give and go prepared foods i never heard of them the muffins also may have been sold at some Costco and Weiss, W E I S, markets stores. According to an announcement with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, Listeria is, quote, an organism which can cause serious and sometimes fatal infections in young children, frail or elderly people and others with weakened immune systems. Although healthy individuals may suffer only short-term symptoms such as high fever, severe headache, stiffness, nausea, abdominal pain, and diarrhea, Listeria infection can cause miscarriages and stillbirths among pregnant women, unquote. The company said it became aware of the problem Quote, as part of our environmental monitoring program, unquote. No illnesses have been reported. So they just found it on their own. Okay, good for them. All right, so you need to click. This is a, a long list, long, long list of names. Like, for instance, Uncle Wally's Twin Muffins. Blueberry, 3.75 ounces, UPC number, blah, 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 and best when used by dates of August 29th and September 5th. Okay, see, you want to hear me say that over and over and over? It's a long list. So, if you have any kind of pre-made muffins that you bought at Walmart or 7-Eleven, uh, um, whatever else I said, I think that was it. Just check the list, all right? The link will be in the description box. All right, moving on to the next story. This one is gross to me, but some of you may like these things. Food Safety News 
breaking news for everyone's consumption. All right, this is oysters recalled amid Washington's largest ever Vibrio outbreak. My, my. Washington's largest. No conspiracy there. By, hold on. Let me get the sweet spot in my glasses. This is kind of, let me try to make it bigger. My vision is perfect as Jesus is perfect. I'm no longer going to claim anything's wrong with them. I just might need bigger font for a while. Until Jesus fixes it. Washington, okay, by Cookson Beecher on July 21st, 2021. Washington State has initiated a recall of live oysters harvested from the Samish Bay growing area in the Puget Sound area. Wasn't that funny? I thought Puget Sound was on the other side of the country. The recall is in response to multiple cases of Vibrio parahemolyticus illnesses associated with oysters harvested in that area, in the area. The outbreak has already surpassed the highest number of cases ever recorded by the state for the month of July, according to the state's health department. Yeah, a lot of people love these things. Put a little hot sauce on it and <laughs> slurp them old raw things right on down. Uh, not me. I learned a long time ago not to trust raw oysters, and I never ever wanted to try one anyway. I like them fried, but that's it. Distribution details are incomplete, but it is known that some of the oysters have gone to Asian and Canadian buyers as well as customers in the United States. Well, I would like to think that if they're harvested here, some of us get to eat some of them if we wanted. A recent heat wave coupled with very low tides at midday are likely to blame for the increased rate of illness, which is associated with eating raw or undercooked shellfish, especially oysters that are contaminated with Vibrio. The extremely low tides are part of an 18.6 year tide cycle, which means there will be more to come for a period of time during the cycle. Oh, okay. Kind of like that El Nino and the other Nino. <laughs> can't remember now. Um, my aunt used to talk about that. <laughs> Bless her heart. As of July 16th, there were 52 lab confirmed cases, of which 44 were foodborne Vibrio parahemolyticus cases that's compared to five in 2020 and a high of 25 in 2018 so already 52 as of july 16th these last two counts included another type of vibrio but there were mainly vibrio Parahemolyticus. Kind of makes me wonder how come they could uh, just what draw their blood, put some under the microscope, and voila, they found it. But they haven't been able to isolate any of the C virus. I mean, come on, what's up with that? Anyway, the department says it's likely that not all of the cases have been reported. And that, it's, yeah, that's possible. People get food poisoning and they think, oh, I got a stomach bug. And they stay at home and they tough it out. Let's see. And that it's investigating some pending cases that are beginning to come in from other states. Because this outbreak included the July 4th holidays, tourists to Washington may have been affected. Very well possible. 
And because it is still analyzing the data as it comes in, it can't confirm if anyone has been hospitalized. Okay, I'm trying to see if there's any... It says, what's especially troubling about this situation is that although the weather has cooled considerably, investigators are finding high levels of Vibrio in the water. Because of that, they expect to see additional cases as temperatures rise through the summer. Good job, people in Washington, for, for keeping an eye on that water out there to make sure we don't get sick. Wouldn't y'all say so? The harvest dates cited in the information about the recall provided by the state are June 29th through July 16th. All right, what to do now? All right. Um, if you have fresh oysters from Samish Bay, you are encouraged to fully cook the shellfish prior to eating to reduce the risk of illness. Recreational harvesters throughout the state are encouraged to check DOH's shellfish safety map. That must be Department of Health. Prior to collecting shellfish. And there's a link there for you. Food establishments that serve molluscan shellfish should review their current supply of shellfish and must remove the recalled oysters from service. All right, that's all I'm going to read about that. The link will be in the description box if you would like to read more. If you've been to Washington and ate some raw oysters and got sick, well, now you know why. This one might pertain to more people. Packaged lettuce sold at Walmart and other major retailers recalled over salmonella concerns. I don't know how much that head of lettuce costed you, but it was probably like a buck. If you want to bother taking it back to the store to get your dollar back, do so. Otherwise, throw it in the trash. This is... Um, Eight consumers reported illnesses in June. It was published July 19th. I'm just a couple days behind. I'm trying really hard to get caught up. I will be caught up by the end of the day. I declare it in Jesus' name. Okay, this is a Fox Business Flash Headlines. I probably shouldn't play it because I could get a copyright strike or something. But you could go to the link in the description box and listen to the little video from Fox Business News yourself. Major retailers within four separate states are removing some packaged lettuce products from their shelves over salmonella concerns following eight reported illnesses, according to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Now, I'm going to go to the word retailers and click on it. All right. What? Hobby Lobby? It says, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, among... Retailers accused of mimicking Crocs foam clogs. Oh, for heaven's sakes. So this is giving you more things. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Like we, okay, I get it. They stole their idea. They made some Crocs that look just like the real Crocs. And they're selling them for half as much money. So... They're mad about it because they're losing money. I get that. They should make them a little different and a little less comfortable, maybe. Who knows? Anyway, I thought that would lead us to something. So you can click on, click here to read more on Fox Business. No, we don't want more Fox Business. I stay away from that because most of it goes over my head. The recall is limited to nine products that were grown at the company's Rochelle in Illinois indoor farm. 
according to the recall notice. Well, that's helpful. Indoor farm. After being produ produ produced in the Rochelle facility, the affected products were shipped to various markets and retailers, including Maryland's, no, sorry, Mariano's Fresh Markets, Select Walmart Stores, Strack Van Til, Sullivan's Foods, Caputo's, Jewel Osco, Pick and Save, Metro Market, Cops and Tadix, T-A-D-Y-C-H apostrophe, yes, never heard of them. Okay, so that's all I'm going to read about that one. And you can click on the link in the description box if you want to read it again or figure out. Go to the links. There's um, there's one down here you can click on. Dole Issues Limited Recall of Romaine over E. coli concerns. Okay, so if you have romaine lettuce in your refrigerator, check that one out for yourself. Okay? It's a, it's a good idea to check on these if you have these kind of products, especially if you have young children. Okay? All right. Well, with that, I'm going to say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.